Fort Boyard, an ancient island fortress surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, home to a vast hoard of tantalizing treasure, and inhabited by a host of grisly guardians. Undaunted, six intrepid teams of young adventurers have set their eyes firmly on the fort's prize. Their mission, to beat any challenge the fort throws at them, and win keys which will unlock the treasure chamber. The more keys they win, the more time they'll have to grab the gold. The two teams who collect the most treasure over the series will go head to head in the grand final, but only one can emerge triumphant to win the trophy and be crowned ultimate conquerors of the fort. Who has the skill, the nerve, the downright determination to succeed? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Ultimate challenge. Two teams have stormed the fort and they are ready and waiting to take on any challenges that get between them and the treasure. For each challenge they successfully complete, they will earn themselves one of these, a key. Five is a magic number and five keys will get them the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber to grab the fort's gold. Yep, it's all about the keys. Keys equals time, time equals treasure. And the team with the most treasure at the end of the tournament will walk away with a triumphant trophy. So let's meet the teams. I think we could go to the end and win this competition. We can be better than bruised, but we'll never give up and we're always going to win. We've all got so many different skills and we've definitely got what it takes to take on the fort. Red Vipers are going to win Fort Boyan because we don't sign up to lose something. There's only one thing the Dragons are here for, and that's to win. I'm not scared of anything, and that's not going to change in the fort. There's two types of people in this world, winners and losers, and I'm a winner. I'm up for anything the fort's got in store for me, and I'm ready for a challenge. Welcome, welcome. Alex, your team captain for the Dragons. What do the Vipers need to be worried about today? They need to be worried about the flame. I don't quite know what that was. <laughs> Vipers. Talia, team captain. How are you going to reply to that? Well, we're venomous, so you better watch out for our bite. <laughs> it's eating up in here, I tell you. Fighting talk. Teams, are you ready? Yes! Great. It's time for our first challenge. So then we're going to kick things off with a dual challenge for both of our teams. We've got Jack from the Vipers going head to head against Hayden from the Dragons. They've got to make their way across the rope all the way to the centre, grab the bag which has a cartridge attached to it, then make their way back to the tool to open the cartridge which will contain the code. Now they're going to be doing this 60 feet above the fort floor and of course, they're going to be watched by some pretty large cats. <laughs> I call them tigers, yeah, they're well, great. Well, yeah, they're tigers. <laughs> How are you feeling out there, boys? Tell you something, this is a lot higher than I thought it was. <laughs> you think? And what about the view, Hayden? It's pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute, wow. I've never heard it described like that before. Well, this is for the first key. Good luck, teams. Your challenge starts now. <laughs> Both boys are showing no fear and they're going for it. Now they've got to try and keep their feet on the bottom rope. Oh, Hayden slipped off. The interesting thing is, though, because they're both on the same rope, any movement puts the other one off. Good recovery from Hayden. This is really tough on their arms. They've both grabbed the sacks. Hayden looks like he just might have the edge over Jack. Jack's made up some ground, though. This takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. A lot of core cool strength out of it. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's getting it juicy! So close! Oh, it has lost his footing. Hands. 
I tell you what, Hayden's done incredibly well to catch up with it. The first key to the Vipers. Hayden's not giving up. He's not giving up. Anything can happen. Come on, Hayden. Boys. Hayden, yes. just, just talk me through that very quickly. That was unbelievable. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever is here on the fort. Well, we're going to take a look back at some of that action. I got my bag first, and as I, as I was travelling back for my bag, uh, I lost one of my foot. I lost my foot in. And uh, unfortunately, that gave Jack the lead. And when Hayden fell off the rope, the way he got back on was shaking the rope like that. So I was like constantly going back and forth and back and forth. Doing a sort of pull up on a rope is a lot harder than doing a pull up on a bar. Look up here from the ground, it doesn't look that high. When you're up there and you're hanging off, it's really high. Jack, congratulations. Cheers. How was that? That was the wobbliest thing I've ever done. <laughs> well, that is kind of the idea, is mm. it not? Mm. Congratulations. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. It's one key to the Vipers and none to the Dragons. Well done, all right. Vipers, let's follow this momentum and grab another key. We're going to do this. Yeah. Let's go, come on. Come on, Vipers. Do you know what? Great start so far, Jack. Good efforts up there, mate. Really good indeed. So who's doing this one? Uh, this me. one is Suzanne. OK, Suzanne. She's like, me. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, dude, this is what you're going to have to do. In there, you're going to find five discs like this. Three of them are blank, and two of them have the two parts of the code that you're going to need to open the key box. You're going to have to pull everything apart in there, drawers, whatever, to try and find them. But um, this is Fort Boyard, and we like surprises, so there's going to be a few in there for you as well. Are you ready? Yes. OK. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. You look a bit scared. I think I'll be all right when I'm in there. Yeah. I mean, there might just be a few skeletons in the closet. I'm saying no more. Make your way in. Come on, Suzanne. Come on, you, can do this. you can do this, dude. You can do it. Because your challenge starts now. Just rummage everywhere. You have to turn the whole place off. Just knock everything away. Okay, keep there, moving there. on. Just Move keep on. rummaging anywhere. All the drawers, nice, all nice, the drawers. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, go through all the drawers and everything. Anything you can Suzanne? see in there? Anything yeah, you can see in there? Yeah, keep going. Suzanne, there's a bag. There's a bag of love you. Look at that. What look bag? Look at the bag above you. Yes, all up. Just look everywhere. Yeah, just go anywhere. Suzanne, what bag in front of you? Yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in there? Anything in there? No, right. OK, keep going. Just anything go anywhere. Just go anywhere. Keep looking. What's in the dish? Keep going. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Just do anything! Three, yeah. four, dot, dot! Hold on, shut up! Three, four, dot, dot! Three, four, dot, Three, four, dot, dot! Three, four, well done. Keep looking! She's got the first part of the code. Tell us to open the door. Yeah, there we go. Tell us to open the door. Just let me get the box in! Susan! <laughs> what about the skeleton? In the skeleton! What about Where? Where are you going on the floor? Look on the floor! The floor. Is there a chest by the skeleton's is there foot? A chest? Oh. Yeah, keep looking in there. Anything in there? Oh. Susan, look in the basket next to it. You guys are running out of time. Oh, You've not got much time. You guys are running out of time. Is she, is she checks everything on the table. Susan, she... there's a book on the table. Go through the book. You open every jar on the table. Oh, it. Just pick it up. Uh, there, it's there. It's there. What it's about the chest? Out. What about the chest? It's gonna have to get out. It's gonna have to get out. Oh, yeah. You have to come out. Unlucky dude. Unlucky dude. There's your key gone. There were so many other bits you could have looked at. There was a chest on the floor. Yeah, like, I just like, it's so dark and misty, and I just like couldn't figure out which one to go in. I did know there would be a lot of things jumping out at me, and I do not like that at all, so I was worried. 
I found the first code straight away and I shouted it out to my team. They got it on the padlock, but I just, everywhere I looked, I just couldn't find the second part, so it was really difficult. All right, so let's check out the scores. It's still one key to the Vipers and zero keys to the Dragons. Unlucky, guys. Take a deep breath because Laura is with the Dragons. Dragons, this is your chance to even things up. Alex, who's doing this challenge? Me and Mariam are taking this one. Right. Now, in this challenge, you've got to move two buckets from one side of the room all the way to the other and drop them in the container using chopsticks. What do you like using chopsticks? Well, I've used them to eat noodles before, but I'm <laughs> guessing this is going to be a whole lot different. You're not going to find any noodles in there, yes. but you might find some other little surprises. So once you've dropped the two buckets in the container over the other side of the room, the key will be released. Does that all make sense? Yep. Yes. OK. Well, there's your chopstick, Alex. There's your chopstick, Mariam. You are up against the clock. Your challenge starts now. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. Get in, that's it. Now, you've got to really work together here. Oh. That blue one, yeah. Oh, well done. That's it. Some rot. OK. Underneath the rope, yeah? Underneath the neck of that. Got the bucket. OK, that's going to move it all the way Keep it over steady. to the other side. That's it. Oh. You, this is a really, really tricky challenge. Yeah. That's but it. Oh, they're doing really, really well. well. Yeah, yeah use the brake. Oh. 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 OK, come on. Got another one. That's another it Another chance. That's OK. That's it. Keep going. You push against me, yeah? Ah, oh, now they, they need to use the push technique hard. that they used first time round, because that seemed to work. Push harder, it's harder together. They can't hear you, so you're going to have to be louder. Push harder together, guys! Push, 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 push. 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 That's it, push, push. Sorry, uh, cut. That's it, come on, come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh. Do you want to switch? Do you want to switch? Switch, switch, switch. switch. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Now, if one of them's left-handed it, ah, I was going to say, they, they might want to switch round, but they've that's already it, done guys. it. You got it, you got it. Come on! I'll press them just my hand. I've got to lift it up. That's it, keep going on the... Oh. Almost, almost. Oh, no, we did that. Okay, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Not looking good. Uh, got it. You're pressing against it, yeah. Time is ticking, look. Not long left. Come on, guys! Oh, Ali, just keep keep pushing against it, keep pushing against the bottom. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired now. All right, keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh. Why do you stop? Oh, no, I'm not stopping. Right, OK. Just the bucket where your chopsticks are. Having that bucket in between the two of them is not doing them any favours. Oh, We're going to have to get them out. We're going to have to get them out. Come out, come out, come out! Oh, never mind. Nice try. What happened? It's honestly, it's a lot harder than it looks. The challenge was quite stressful, but it was also a lot of fun at the same time. We found that we had to get the right balance of strength on both sides of the barrel in order to get it moving. There were rats in the cupboards and all over your arms, which was kind of scary. The challenge was a lot of fun, even though we didn't win a key. Never mind. Great attempt. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. It's one key to the Vipers and no keys to the Dragons. <laughs> right, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because there's lots more to come on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. So far, the Vipers and Dragons are battling it out to see who can get as many keys as they can from the fort. We've already had three challenges, and the Vipers have already got one key, and the Dragons have got no keys. But the next challenge is for both our teams. So, this is a straight-out race between Talia for the Vipers and Maddie for the Dragons. Girls. All you have to do is scale all the way to the top of the wall and whoever grabs that key first wins it for their team. But if you fall off, you have to start from the beginning. It's a bit windy out here and the sea is looking pretty treacherous just to add a bit of fear factor. How are you feeling about this, Maddie? Uh, quite nervous. It looks a bit taller than I thought, but I'm going to win it for my team. What about you, Talia? Yeah, it's like Maddie said, it's taller than I thought, but I'm excited. OK. <laughs> They're both excited. I like this. Your challenge starts now. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Tyler. Oh, you got it, Maddie. 
This is a really tough challenge, but both girls are up for it. They're wasting no time in finding those handholds. You've got it, Maddie, you've got it. It looks like it's Maddie who's gotten off to the quickest start. Tanya from the Red Vipers has found her rhythm, and she's starting to gain on Maddie. This is an incredible achievement for these two girls. They're hauling themselves 60 feet up a sheer wall without batting an eyelid. It's neck and neck at the moment, but these girls really want the key for their teams. has just stretched out in front again. Can Talia catch up? Their arms will be starting to feel it now, but the key is getting ever closer. Come on, Maddie. Come on. Talia's caught up some ground and it looks like she might overtake Maddie. This is getting really exciting. It's so close. It's impossible to call. Who's going to grab the key first? It looks like both girls have got a bit stuck there. But they're on the move again. Who is it going to be? Now it's Talia who's got into the lead. Talia's back in front. It's going to go down to the wire. It's Maddie who gets there first. Maddie takes it for the Dragons. I was really excited. I've got, like, quite um, good strength in my arms and my legs, so I was confident with that. Watching that challenge was very exhilarating because both members of both teams were neck and neck right up until the very end. We both leant out to get the uh, key and then she just got it before me. Once I reached for the key and I got it, I kind of noticed where she was and how we were really close the whole way. Let's take a look at the scores so far. The Vipers have one key and the Dragons have one key as well. What well done, teams. Well done. Yeah. Right, Vipers. One more chance to get a key. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. This next challenge is going to require someone with nerves of steel. Who's doing it, Captain? Uh, Neve's doing this one because he's fearless. Oh, are you fearless? Um, we'll have to find out. All right, OK. Do you want to know what you have to do? Not particularly. Oh, right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> so, as you can see on this wall, you have some codes with corresponding numbers. When you can make your way in, there are going to be three boxes with some quite interesting things inside them. You need to put your hand in the boxes and describe the code you can feel. You're going to shout it out to your teammates and then they're going to try and match it with the numbers on the wall. Those numbers will give you a three-digit code which you're going to put into this machine and hopefully, if it's the right code, it will release the key. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. How are you feeling now? Confident. Yeah? Strong, yeah. Okay, make your way in, sir. Come on, Eve. Come on, Eve. Because your challenge starts now. He's gone straight into the first really box, which is full of snakes. Yeah, just work your way yeah. down. You're, yeah. What can you feel, mate? Um, I can't get my thing The coach should be at the bottom. Put your whole hand down. He's been very brave. OK. One on the bottom right. Bottom right, middle left. Top right. Yeah, I think that's it. Two. Are you sure? Is there anything like that? No, it was a top right. It's nine. It's nine. It's a top right. Um, it was a top right. It was a top right. It's nine. Let's go. Right. Well spotted, Suzanne. So nine is your first digit. Um, the next one is buried under all those cockroaches. Right. No, top right. Top left. Um, bottom right. Is that one of them? Top right, top left, bottom right. What does that give you? You got any of them? Three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done, mate. You have been so brave. This is unbelievable. Go on, mate. You're doing 
Keep going. Top right, top left, middle left, bottom right. Um, top right, top left, middle left, bottom right. OK. You got Stay that? in there, let's see if we've got it. Yes, you've got the team! Unbelievable yeah. technique! Great! I don't know, did I explain any of it right? We, even... Mate, everything was perfect. Was it? <laughs> were you not feeling squeamish because there were snakes in there, there were cockroaches in there? Oh no, yeah, I oh, felt them, but you know. Oh, it was all cute. I don't know. I was... <laughs> <laughs> This guy is so cool, calm and collected. I love that. <laughs> but let's just take a look at that replay. I was worried because I wasn't sure whether I was going to be capable of completing it and getting the key. So I went straight in, stuck my hand in there, felt some snakes, and my heart stopped. <laughs> of course I panicked because I'm not used to feeling scaly skin slithering around my hands. I didn't know there was cockroaches. I just felt little legs climbing up my hand. When we got the key, I felt ecstatic. I had completed my first challenge, and we won. Neve, well done. You've won your team a key! Yeah! Let's take a look at the scores. So it's two keys to the Vipers and one key to the Dragons. Congratulations, Loras, with the Dragons. So your chance to win another key now, guys. Now, Hayden has bravely put himself forward for this one. He's going to be spun every which way possible. Whilst he's spinning, some buttons will flash up in front of him and he needs to press them in time so they remain lit, which will then bring up the code in front of him. He can then shout out that code to his teammates who are waiting out here, who will open the box and grab the key. Alex, do you think Hayden's got the stomach for this? Certainly, he's sick. He's sick? I hope he's no, not no, sick. Not literally, we hope. Let's hope he's not sick, OK. Hayden, are you ready for the ride of your life? Of course I am. <laughs> Good stuff. Your challenge starts now. Here he is. He needs to press those buttons as soon as they light up and they need to remain lit. Looks like he might have one there. Come on, you need some encouragement. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this, come on. Oh, it looks like he's got a few. Yes. Few there. Come on. Keep it going, Hayden. Answer, keep going. Come on. He's doing quite well. Yes, well done, Hayden. And it looks like it's getting faster. Come on, Hayden. <laughs> The dizzier you are going to get, Hayden. <laughs> I'm already dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so be quick, come on. Yeah, come on, come on Hayden. That one. Come on, we want to make this two all. As soon as it flashes, you need to press that button, Hayden. Come on. We need the code. We need this key. Time's running out. Come on, Hayden. to be revealed. Come on! Keep going, Hayden! Keep going! Not one left! Keep going! Keep going! Come on! Only two more to go! Looks like it's getting faster again. Time's running out, Come not long! Come on! Come on! Keep going, Hayden! Come on, buddy! Oh! Out of time! I'm so sorry, Hayden! Feeling a little bit dizzy? Just a bit. <laughs> We're going to spin back to the action replay. The gyroscope is the craziest game in the whole fort because it is just a complete mental world in there. You're not aware of where you are, what you're doing, whether you're upside down, sitting upright or spinning round because it is going so fast and you're just concentrating on all the different buttons flashing. It was a brilliant fun. It was probably the best roller coaster ride I've ever been on. It was a great effort and let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. It's two to the Vipers and one to the Dragons. Well done, Hayden. Let's give it up for Hayden. Don't worry, there is a chance for you to catch up because it's time for our next duel with Andy and the Vipers. Let's go! Come on! Woo! Woo! The dragon's out! Woo! This duel sees Neve and Suzanne from the Vipers go head-to-head -head with Mariam and Alex 
from the Dragons. So, guys, you're going to have to launch the cannonballs into the barrels in front of you. The team that gets two balls into the barrels first will win this key. You need to work together. One of you is going to be loading, one of you will be launching. Does that all make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, who wants to win this key? The Dragons! Oh, yeah. the dragons. Let's do this. Your challenge starts now. Now, if you get a cannonball into your opponent's barrel, that point will go to them. So you really want to make sure you get two balls into your own barrel. confident about this challenge um, because we thought Neve would be really great at aiming the balls and to get into the basket. The game was a lot harder than it looked because you had to time your jump perfectly and I made the silly mistake of getting the ball into their basket and gave them an, a, a head start. I was never really concerned about time on that challenge, it was more running out of cannonballs. Mariam and uh, Neve were both struggling to get their balls in and it wasn't literally till Mariam's last ball when she finally got it in and we got the key. I can't describe what I felt, I just, I, it's not like they beat me themselves, I helped them beat me. Now Neve, it was a great effort, but it was a great effort helping the other team out. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Harder than it looks? Definitely. Oh, well, nice try, but you left it right till the last minute. Oh, yeah. One, one ball left. One. Incredible, excellent work there, guys. Let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. It's two apiece, two keys to the Vipers, two keys to the Dragons. Wow, well, I don't know about you, but I think I need to put my feet up and have a little rest. Don't go anywhere because there's loads more nail-biting challenges to come here on the fort. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. The Dragons are taking on the Vipers in a fierce battle to see who can win as many keys as possible from the fort. It's getting close. Both teams are tied on two keys. The next challenge is for the Vipers. So, it's 2-2. Still a few more keys to get. Jack, you're going to be doing this one, aren't you? Yep, I am. Well, you are the man for it because it's going to need a lot of strength, OK? Thank you. 
All right, this is what you need to do. Inside there, you'll find a giant net. Inside the net are packages with exotic destinations named on them. Jump into the net, find the chest, which has the name of the first destination, then follow the destinations through up until the point in which you find the key. Are you ready? I am indeed. Okay, make your way in, son. Come on, Jack. Come on, you got this. The challenge starts now. Come on, Jack, you got this. Come on, really quick. Come on, then, Jack. Bombay! Here we go, just throw them out. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Forgetta! Whoever that is. Just keep going! I think, I think the easiest thing would be to throw everything Don't out. Don't worry about saying it, just everything throw it the box. Get out, right? There you go, there you just go. Just keep throwing them, yeah, keep going! Yeah. Just keep you're throwing them! Yeah, well done. You're doing well. Just keep doing that, yeah. Well done, Jack, keep Only going, mate. The ones that are necessary. Yeah. The ones in the way of the box. Jack, you need to hurry it up, man. Come on, Jack! Get to the chest! Keep going! All right, you got to the chest, yet? Can you see the chest, Jack? Yes! All right. Yeah, just, just keep checking. working your way there. Just checking. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Come on, Jack. Just oh, ignore him, There you go, sir. Yeah, go open, open the it. chest. Open it! Can you just lift it up? Yeah, there yeah. Go. Moscow! What does it say? Moscow! Moscow! I'm looking. You need to find a package with Moscow on it. Come on, Jack! Just yeah, find your yeah. things. Your rifle was on it. Get it! Yeah, no, this, this one. This one. No, no, yes, right. yes, 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 yes. Come on. Just pull it. How am I doing for time? Keep going. You're about halfway no, through. About halfway. Doing a good job. Come on, keep it up. Chicago. Chicago. Nothing. Right. You chopped that out. You chopped it out. He's got to find the Chicago Keep package. Going. He's now running out. Keep working. Hey, this Chicago got it. What does it say? Bombay, Bombay. Oh, oh, right. That's, 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 that's one of the first ones he's doing. You have to come out. You have to come out. You've got to come out, mate. Yes, come on. Has he found it? Has he found Bombay? Oh. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Well done, bro. That was a fantastic effort. Let's take a look at that replay. Trying to find the chest was actually harder than I thought because when Andy said where it was, I thought he meant in the, in the middle of the net, right at the bottom, and I was standing on something wooden, so I kept digging down and down and down to the bottom and I couldn't find it. When I found the bell with the winning chest, I had two seconds left, so I was, I was so lucky to get out on time. Well done, you want a key for the Vipers! Mm, I love a good key. Right, let's take a look at the score so far. The Vipers have three keys and the Dragons have two keys. You have done it. Take a chill pill because Laura is with the Dragons. Alex, you've done pretty well as a team so far, but another key, it's important, it's valuable time in the treasure chamber. Who's going to do this challenge? Maddie's going to take this one up. Maddie, come on over now. This is the hottest room on the fort. In here, the key is on a ring. You've got to move that ring all the way along the pipes, through the obstacles, to here. It's nice and warm in there. There might be a bit of grease. Do you think you can do this challenge? Yeah, grease doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you? No, Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Come on, Maddie. Your challenge starts now. Got to be really quick. There isn't much time for this one. She's got the key. Come on, first. Come on, yeah. obstacle there. Keep it up. She needs to get through these obstacles as quickly as she can. Quickly. Keep twisting. That's it. There. Yes, you got it. Come on, Maddie. Come on. You can do this one, Maddie. Come on. Don't worry about the steam. Push on through. Come on. She's got to unscrew that. Oh, Got to unscrew it as quickly as she can. Keep her updated on oh, time, team. Oh, plenty of time left, buddy. There's never plenty of time. Come on. Through the oil. Come on, Maddie. No one cares about the oil. Well done. It's pretty um, gooey. Come on. You've got it. You've got it. Got it. I'm no. sticking. She's got it. Back into the yikes. Halfway through. Halfway through. Oh, time, start, is that grease making it easier to move that ring along the pipe? I'm not sure. You've got this one. Come, Come on. on. Come on, Maddie. Halfway, time's ticking. Really Maddie. Really Three, but I'll get a move 
move on. Really got to get a move on. Come on, Maddie, speed. Come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, Maddie, yes, Maddie. This is going to be close. Extremely close. Come on, Maddie. Time. Time, Maddie. Challenge. What keeps me going is my teammates cheering for me, so I know that I've got them supporting me. It was actually really hot, and you wouldn't expect how hot it was. It was quite hard as well. With a shock, with loads of smoke would just come out, and it was just, it was a complete shock to me. I got the key. I can't believe it. I was so happy and pleased that we actually got it. Well done, team. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. It's three keys to the dragons and three keys to the vipers. Wow, well, we've now got to head to the all-important final duel. This could be a fourth key for you guys. Do you think we should go? Yes. Let's do it, come on! The final duel before the glorious treasure chamber. This couldn't be any closer. Three keys each. This one is for this final key. Are we ready? Yes! OK. Are you ready, Laura? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Born ready, this one. All right. In front of you, you can see these invisible platforms. Next to the platforms are some dominoes. One by one, you're going to take it in turns to place a domino on the platform. The thing is, you can put the dominoes down in any order. Once you put it down, though, you've got to commit to it. So, let's decide who goes first. I'm going to toss the coin. Boyard side for vipers, tiger side for dragons. Laura? It's tiger side. OK. Don't forget, whoever topples the dominoes loses the key for their team. Off you go. Alex. Thoughtful first move there from Alex. It's not as easy as it looks. It's Talia. Vipers. Well done, Talia. This is Maddie for the dragon stepping forward. It was just so nerve-wracking, and we were all just there like, don't wobble, don't move. Oh, She's almost committed. done that one, Maddie. Well done. Stick with it. Suzanne. I heard my team just saying, calm down, just take your time. So I followed their advice, and I managed to put my domino on. Don't forget, take your time. There's no rush. I am up next. The dragons. Both teams were on edge as the slightest move would tip the dominoes and that team would have to forfeit the key. I was so nervous when I was placing my domino, my hand was like shaking. Hold on, Eve. Quick Stop. move there. Hayden steps forward. really important to us because we didn't want to lose any more time in the treasure chamber. Just mental and physical tiredness from, out, from throughout the day meant that when I put my domino down, the rest just fell down with it. I was quite relieved that I didn't have to have a go at dominoes because the nerves were starting to kick in and my hands were shaking. Can you go to the Vipers! Yeah! Let's take a quick look at the scoreboard. It's four keys to the Vipers and three keys to the Dragons. All right! <laughs> It's okay. not over yet, though. It's not over. There's only one place left to go. The treasure chamber. Let's go, people. Come on. To unlock the gate and receive the full three minutes in the treasure chamber, each team must have five keys. For each key less than five, there's a 10-second time penalty. Each key over five earns a bonus of 150 gold coins. 
Once the gate is unlocked, the time begins and each team will be shown a map of the treasure chamber floor with four crests marked on it. They must memorize the four crest positions on the map and then place them on the corresponding squares on the chamber floor. All under the watchful eyes of the Fort Tigers. Each player then places a hand on the scanner and if they are correct, the key to the treasure chest will be released and the team can start collecting the gold. If they are wrong, they must reposition their crest until they get it right. The team with the most coins wins. Congratulations, teams. You've made it here to the treasure chamber. <laughs> it's a straight-out race to grab as many gold coins as you can. The total number of gold coins you grab will be added to the overall tournament leaderboard. So, you needed five keys to get the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber behind me. We'll start with you, Vipers. Four keys, amazing, well brought back. Unfortunately, though, you've got a 10 second penalty. Yeah. Dragons, you did pretty well. You got three keys, so with two keys short, you've got a 20 second time penalty. So I'm going to put these in. Now, Vipers, when the gate starts to open, your map will be revealed. Dragons, your map will be revealed when your time penalty is up. Is everyone ready for this? Yes. 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 I don't think they're ready. Are you ready for this? Yes! That's more like it. All right. Your challenge starts now. Vipers have their map. And the dragons are waiting patiently. The treasure chamber, this time means nothing. Because if they get their code wrong, they'll have to start to the beginning. Let's go. Both teams are in. All right, hands down, check if it's if it's right. Will the Vipers get it right this yes. time? And they did! Vipers have got their key! And the dragons have got it right too! The dragons have closed the gap! Open you need the box, to open the box for the key! Both teams are off. The dragons already piling in the goal. Despite their time penalty, the dragons open their chest first. All to play for now, guys. All Remember, to play you for. You need to grab as many gold coins as you can. Watch yourselves. A little bit of dancing there between <laughs> the dragons. All to play for. Look at that. Barnia, literally. Cutting a chest with coins. Keep going, teams. You're doing really well. Keep going, teams. Grab all that gold, teams. Come on. Go, go, go. Don't be The atmosphere in the treasure chamber was definitely electric because everyone's on adrenaline and everyone just wants to get as much gold as they can. It was really scary seeing the tigers in the treasure chamber and it was hard not to be distracted by them when we were running for the coins. Ten extra seconds in the treasure chamber was a real boost for us. I was so happy that we got our map right first time because it really gave us an advantage. And it's the last one, it's the big moment so it was really exciting. Right, the moment we've all been waiting for, that was a breathtaking finale. So, we'll start with you, Vipers. Do you want to lift and load? Let's see just how much gold you have grabbed. It's heavy. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a very good tally. Both do, actually. Right, let's take a look at your total. Total is 1,250. Yeah. That is a mammoth wow. take. Wow. Amazing. Do you want to put it back in the container? Wow. So, Dragon. Oh. 
1,250 to be. What was that noise there, Alex? Are you feeling nervous? Come on. Let's see how much it took. It was a big take. I can't call this one, Laura. I just can't call you it. You never can, Andy. Make sure you get all those coins out. Well done. Just a little final check there from Alex. Let's see what your score is. 1,250 to beat. Nice. Except for Alex, who looks a little disappointed. Well, let's take a look and see how that affects the overall leaderboard. So, the Dragons go into third place, but the Vipers' huge score puts them at the top of the leaderboard ahead of the Jaguars. This was a very close one to call, but you know what? Great effort by both teams. Well done, you guys. Fantastic show. Right. Make sure you join us next time for more Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. See you later. Bye-bye! <laughs> The Vipers felt overwhelmed because we never thought we'd beat the fort and we managed to do it, so it was fantastic. Although the Dragons didn't conquer the fort today against the Vipers, we'll definitely be ready when we come back next time. The Vipers went ecstatic when we won. We were all so happy. It was absolutely amazing and I can't wait to do more challenges next time. It was a huge relief to come out as a winner because then I knew I'd done my job right.